when to visit Indianapolis is the question. We have the answers for you. Actually, Chris Gall has the answers from the official Tourism Bureau. Are you going to say anything negative about Indianapolis in the next three minutes? Probably not, unless you really want me to. No, no, I don't want that. Although, I mean, the reality is we do need to know when to visit. That has a lot to do with peak uh, visitor season, shoulder season, value season. A lot of people don't understand that has everything to do with the number of hotel rooms sold, correct? Absolutely. Well, from a value standpoint, the month of January is going to be your best bet. Uh, as a cold weather destination, you know, certainly that's the, the, the best time. Although we do have a lot of events and, and festivals that happen during our cold weather months. And because we're so walkable and connected, uh, it's, it's still still fun to visit. But, you know, really the month of May is, is prime time with the Indianapolis 500 happening each Memorial Day weekend. Uh, that's when the red carpet is rolled out for our visitors um, and, and a great time to visit. And you can still find some, some hotel deals and steals in our downtown and in our suburban hotels during the month of May as we spill into the month of October, another great time to come. So I'd say uh, May and October are two, two times to mark your calendars for. And what are we dealing with in terms of what the weather is really like? If somebody really has not been to that part of the country, maybe they've been in California their whole lives, they've been in New York or Florida, whatever, what are they going to experience? I mean, it's four seasons, we know that, but temperature-wise, what are they going to see? I'll tell you that uh, two and a half hours away from Chicago, our, uh, our weather is often mirrored uh, by Chicago, uh, only, only a little warmer because you don't have the lake effect and, and the snow that piles in because of the Lake Michigan. Uh, so, you know, we do get snow and, and have fun in the, uh, um, in, the, in the winter and have a few ski places, uh, surprisingly enough, within driving distance. Um, the summer is very temperate, um, very good Midwestern weather, and, uh, and the spring is, is uh, hovering in the, in the mid-60s. So, uh, you know, it, it's, it's good weather. And you will find a little humidity. So you got to put the hairspray, you got to put the product in because it could be a little humid. Tons of product, especially in August when it gets uh, when we get the uh, the largest NASCAR race of the year that comes through. A lot of product in the hair, a lot, uh, some beverages to be had to keep you cool. Uh, but I would also mention that the fall, you know, Indiana in the Midwest, as that air gets crisp and the leaves and the foliage start exploding, what's nice about Indianapolis is you can escape within 30 minutes of the city and be along these rolling Indiana hills, densely forested with wine trails and hikes into nature, bike and uh, mountain bike trails. And so you can step, you can have your urban experience, but it, in the fall especially, you can step into the outdoors and, you know, and get that experience. That's a great point, because I'm from Iowa. So, you know, we know that when, when fall hits, you know, we're done with summer, the humidity goes down, we like that. But we know that winter's coming, it's gonna turn a little chilly. Uh, it's gonna turn cold, but we know in the fall, if if I smoke closed cigarettes, I would do it in the fall. You just get this great, there's a little bit of a breeze, the leaves start falling, it's really cool. It's good to be out in nature and get that yeah. fresh air. And we, we're blessed to have a lot of a lot of land around the, the, the city and the 13th largest city that have uh, the ability to get outside and, and go hiking or biking or canoeing or kayaking and have those, those amenities. And now you know when to go to Indianapolis. Ooh, the rhyming going on. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs>